Hello everyone, I'm Nagraj. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, I had explained about the working principle of an IR sensor. In this video, I'm going to show you how actually it works. So let's get started. I've used an Arduino board just to power this IR sensor. And I've powered on the Arduino board with a USB cable. And I have three pins and VCC of the IR sensor is connected to 5 volt on the Arduino board. Ground is connected to Arduino ground and the output of the IR sensor is connected to any of the digital pins. The device is now powered on. The IR LED is emitting IR radiations but the photodiode is not detecting it. This LED is not glowing which indicates that the output is low. Now if I bring my hand close to this as you can see the LED is now glowing which indicates that photodiode is detecting the IR radiations emitted by the LED because it is reflected back to the photodiode. If I vary the potentiometer, potentiometer is basically resistance. If I increase or decrease the resistance the voltage also changes. So let's see now what happens. Now the range has increased. The distance between my hand and the IR LED is more now. This potentiometer is varied to adjust the voltage given to pin number 2. If it is kept very low, then a low voltage at pin number 3 is enough for detection. If it is kept very high, then high voltage is required at pin number 3 for detection that is for high output. As we know the intensity of light falling on the photodiode determines the voltage generated by it. If the intensity is high the voltage generated is also high. If the intensity is less then the voltage generated is also less. The intensity will be low only when the range is more and the intensity is high only when the range is less. So if this voltage is kept very low then a low voltage which is slightly more than this voltage is sufficient for detection. That means the range is more because low voltage means low intensity is enough and therefore the range is more. If this is kept very high then High voltage is required at pin number 3 and therefore high intensity is also required. And this can happen only when the range is small. I hope you guys have understood why we vary potentiometer to vary the range. So this is how an IR sensor works. For detailed working of an IR sensor, you can watch my previous video. Uh, the link is also given in the description. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. So that's it about this video. Thanks for watching. See you next week.